Well, hello there and welcome to the programme that keeps you up to date with what's going on at our fair shores and across the water. As always, I'm Sinead and this is What's Cool. Starting off on a slightly theatrical note, Keith Richards made a rare public appearance last night at the New York premiere for Sweeney Todd. Tim Burton's adaptation of the 1979 Stephen Sondheim Broadway musical has already been deemed as one of the coolest movies ever. But then again with the coming together of Burton, Bonham Carter, Johnny Depp and Ali G for good measure, it's really no wonder why. Now I have some very sad and serious news to report. It has been revealed this week that the Spice Girls were hit with a virus outbreak. This grave situation came to light on Friday last when Jerry Halliwell announced that the pox of the chicken had struck her bluebell. That's actually her kid. It is believed that Cruz Beckham, son of Stick Insect Spice, was a virus catalyst that contaminated Spice Camp. Well, here's hoping it spreads and we get to see some spotty spice. What's that mean? Well, our usually cool and collected Hollywood expert Jonathan Rhys Myers can breathe a sigh of relief this week after all of his public order charges were dropped before a court sitting. After an appearance on the Turbo Tonight Show, a drunken and abused Myers attempted to board a British Midlands flight to London. Amazingly, he's escaped without any criminal record, which is kind of good considering he flies into the extremely strict United States quite a bit. Well, unfortunately, that's all I have time for today. But of course, you'll see me here tomorrow and I'll be joined with not one, not two, but the three Jessicas, Bill, Simpson and Alba, to find out what Cupid brought them for Valentine's Day. And I'll be on location in Colin Farrell's new pad to find out if the rumours of his recent return to bachelorhood are true, and if so, what he's looking for in his next girlfriend. Just for general information, of course. Okay, guys, that's it. Bye.